Right, this uh, little demonstration, I'm going to show you how to write the compact flashcard for Monowall um, and the uh, image uh, to actually put on there. Uh, first of all, you need to connect a compact flashcard to your computer with a USB uh, reader. Uh, the minimum uh, size of the card uh, for Monowall is, uh, I believe it's something like 32 meg. Um, so if you just slot the, the card into the card reader, put the card in the USB port, it doesn't matter which USB port, just bang it in any any USB port. Uh, then you want to open up um, Internet Explorer or Firefox or whichever uh, internet browsing software you use. Um, go to um, Monowall's homepage and the first thing you want to do is click on uh, installation and then click on the standard uh, CF IDE version and then if you scroll down a bit you'll see uh, this little uh, application that Manuel's actually wrote um, in order to write the uh, image to a flashcard so what we need to do is if we click on that and uh, there should be a little download link here, uh, there we go and now uh, what we're going to do is download this uh, onto our desktop I've already saved this to the desktop so I'll just skip this bit. Um, then what we need to do is actually download the image and that's under downloads and if you scroll down you'll see the latest versions for um, whichever uh, image um, or for whichever thing you're actually using um, so you've got the the wrap and the, uh, the net 4800 um, we're actually just going to use do this for a um, just a, a standard PC, so we'll just uh, go ahead and, and click on that one. Then you'll have to da select uh, where wherever you are in the world um, or your local uh, uh, mirror. Uh, I'm just going to select uh, any one of these three UK ones, so I'll just click that one. And then we can uh, save this to the disk, uh, or save this to your desktop or wherever it is that uh, you're going to save it to. So again, I'm going to skip this uh, particular step because I've already got it on my desktop. And there we go. So I've got uh, the application to actually write and the image that I'm actually going to write. Uh, it doesn't matter that I've actually got the Net4500 um, image. Uh, you can use any of them Im images to burn to write onto the uh, compact flashcard. Um, so yeah, I'm going to use the Net4500. First thing you want to do is extract uh, the uh, FeedIS writer from uh, the zip file. So we'll just right click it, uh, drag it somewhere on the desktop and then just extract it. And there we go, it's extracted it. Now there are two ways you can uh, write uh, your um, image to your USB uh, drive. Uh, the simplest way that uh, I would recommend doing is to just drag the image file onto the application and then you'll get uh, this little uh, box pop up. <coughs> Excuse me. And then what you want to do is find um, your uh, memory card uh, that you've inserted with the USB uh, card reader. Um, I've only got uh, one physical disk drive in this computer and one uh, flash card that you can see there but you might have um, I don't know, uh, three disks and I don't know, endless flash cards connected, I don't know, but uh, on this particular, on my particular uh, computer uh, we've just got uh, one physical um, hard drive and one um, flash card. So what we're going to do is, uh, oh yeah, and make sure you you know which one it is, and uh, don't do it twice. What I did when I first got hold of this program, which is I selected zero, and I uh, totally uh, overwritten or overwrote all the data on my uh, hard drive, um, which wasn't very good at the time. Anyway. So what we want to do here is uh, which disk you want to write to. On this one, we want to say we want to write it to disk one uh, because that's the the name of this physical disk drive one, as it says that. So I'm just going to enter here one, 
and enter. And it will come up and say, uh, are you sure you want to overwrite the, uh, the disk? And you just press Y and enter. And then it will uh, go away and uh, write the card. So that's the uh, the drag and drop method. Um, so I'm just going to let this go through um, and we'll come back in a minute. Okay, so that's actually completed and it's uh, it's vanished off the screen. Um, so at this point you take the card out and put it into your um, CF to IDE converter, plug it into your uh, computer and uh, it should all boot up um, and you should be able to uh, use uh, the Monowall software. Um, the second way that uh, you can do this is to actually do it by uh, commands. So on this particular one, what I'm going to do is to make life easy for myself and to show you how to do it, I'm just going to drag this onto the desktop and close this window off. And what we need to do is uh, click on your start menu and click on run. And in here, what we're going to do is type in CMD. I've already got this typed in from a previous uh, session, so I'm going to just click on OK. And then what we we'll want to do is go to your desktop, as that's where the file stored. So we do CD uh, desktop, and then if we do a DIR, we'll see uh, the application. There it is and I'm going to cheat on here, uh, just right click, click on mark and just highlight the, uh, the application, right click it and right click and paste it there and that should uh, put the uh, title of the application there. So if we do the same again for the, uh, for the image, so we just right click, mark highlight the whole file name, right click it and right click there and go paste and there we go. So we should have uh, the uh, the fee disk uh, writer and the actual um, image that we're going to write and then we should just be able to press enter and then it goes through the uh, you know, writing to the disk again. So we have uh, the physical disk drive 1 so just enter 1 uh, we want to overwrite it so we say yes click enter and this will then uh, proceed to write the CF uh, CF image uh, sorry the mono wall image to the CF card and once this completes uh, you can then uh, take the card out and uh, put it into your uh, ID converter or if you've got the uh, the uh, net 4500 uh, the little um, uh, firewall um, motherboard, uh, circuit board thing from uh, their website, you can uh, put it in there and it will uh, boot up. So when this, do when this is done, um, that's it.